What is up, Sopranos fans? Kino here, and I'm back with another Soprano log. Uh, this time we're looking at the 10th episode of the second season, Bust Out. Um, now, the title from this episode comes from the fact that um, the guys are busting out Davy's store. They're basically, since he can't pay them back for the debt he accumulated, um, they're ordering things on his credit um, that they have no intention of him ever paying back. Um, so they're ordering things like uh, water, ice coolers, a, b a bunch of other stuff that they're going to sell for basically pennies on the dollar. Um, and they're making money from the fact that nobody is essentially paying for these products and it's going to ruin Davy's credit and put him out of business. But he has no choice since he can't pay them back. Uh, Carmela is actually friends with Davy's wife. Um, she doesn't know what's going on. There's actually a really funny scene when they're having uh, lunch at Vesuvio. Artie offers them a bottle of uh, Ramlosa, which uh, Tony sold to Artie from the bust out on Davy's store. So Davy's wife ended up drinking the water that came from the bust out, um, which is pretty funny. Um, but Davy's wife introduces Carmela to her brother, uh, Vic Musto. He's a contractor who does like wallpaper and stuff. Um, and he and Carmela are instantly attracted to each other. When he's working on their house, um, they step into the bathroom and end up making out. And they, you know, they break it off. They admit that, you know, things just got a little crazy, but they both want each other and, and they agree to um, see each other later on for a private um, lunch together. And we can tell that this is going to lead to some some action. Carmela's trying to get something. Davey goes out of business from the bust out. Um, his credit's ruined. There's lawsuits against him. He's going to have to do Chapter 11 and shut down the store, which Tony admits that he knew this was going to happen um, when he invited uh, Davey into the poker game. He knew that this was an option for him, uh, like the scorpion and the frog, as he describes. Davey tells Vic that um, you know he's out of business and he owes all this money to Tony Soprano. And Vic decides to not meet Carmela for their lunch um, after learning about, you know, who her husband is and how, you know, ruthless he is. Uh, meanwhile, Richie is unhappy with his cut of the bust out and the fact that the garbage roots, he's not making as much money as he feels he should be. Um, there's all this pent up resentment from the fact that, um, you know, Tony gave away his jacket and he's not being respected. Janice kind of eggs him on during sex, telling him that, she thinks he should be in charge and encourages him to, you know, take out Tony um, and become the boss. And therefore, you know, she'll be married to the boss now and she'll reap all those rewards. A really vicious character, Janice, um, completely selfish. Um, but that's what she she's OK with her own brother getting taken out um, if it you know brings her more wealth. Richie approaches Junior um, and talks to him about potentially taking Tony out and Richie taking over. Um, Junior's not on board right now, and he warns uh, Richie against trusting Janice, um, saying that she's only looking out for herself, even since she's a child. Um, she's just been stealing and, and trying to get as much as she can. Uh, so he warns uh, Richie against her. Now, the main plot line going on in this episode is there was a witness that saw Tony kill Matthew Bevilacqua. Um, he wasn't able to make out Pussy, um, but he got a clear view of Tony and went to the police. Uh, he doesn't really know who Tony is yet, but now the FBI are looking into this. Um, they want to talk to Tony. They want him to come down uh, to the police station and, and give his story. Tony refuses, but he's really scared that you know he's going to go to jail for the rest of his life for this murder. He's really depressed. He starts acting out, um, particularly against his son. Um, he wanted to bond with AJ because he wants to um, help prepare him to be a man in case, you know, Tony ends up going away and he's not there for him. Um, but AJ goes and hangs out with his friends instead. And so Tony, therefore, misses his um, swim meet. Um, and we can tell that just Tony's really emotionally unstable right now. Um, he's not acting logically. Uh, in the end, though, the witness recants when he learns from the newspaper that the murder victim was a Soprano family associate. And he realizes that he does not want to testify because there could be bad consequences for him. Um, so he recants his story and now Tony is in the clear because all they had on the murder was an eyewitness. Uh, Tony's relieved. Um, he goes out and bonds with AJ. Um, they go take the boat out. And there's this great scene where they're, they're driving the boat and they drive too close to another little smaller boat. And it tips the boat over when the, when the wake from the water hits them. 
Um, and we can see that, you know, Tony and AJ just completely don't care. They're in their own world. And it just goes to show you that they only really think of themselves. They don't care who they hurt along the way. Um, but really great episode. It was it was fun seeing uh, Robert Patrick. I, I just saw uh, Terminator 2 the other night. And it's funny seeing him, um, you know, be a little crybaby in this episode. Uh, he's very weak compared to that character. Um, but great episode. And stay tuned for the next Soprano Log uh, coming soon. Thanks.